Welcome everybody to SS Multimedia. This is Aviron Paul and today we're going to be learning how to multiply fractions by whole number using symbols. Objective. Understanding multiplying fractions using a whole number. Now, the fractions we're going to use today are like 2 thirds times 6. Now, this is what a whole number is. So just keep that in mind in case if you forgot what the whole number is. And in case if you got the names of this, the top number's always name is numerator, the bottom name is denominator. And that can get tricky because fractions are sometimes tricky for some kids. Now let's try some problems. Our first problem of the day, we're gonna do two eights times three. And you're probably wondering how do I do this? First things first, we're, we're doing multiplying the same way we usually do. We're going to do two, 3 times 2, which equals 6, and then the denominator stays the same, 6 eighths. Now, this might be tricky for some people, so let me, I'm going to rewrite the problem here, and then we're going to write 3, whole number, what? And you're probably thinking, isn't that a fraction? Technically, yes and no, because this this fraction already represents a whole. You can write it as three or three once. It stays the same. And now we can do normal multiplying. We can do two times three equals six, and then eight times one equals eight. That's a easier way and doesn't get confusing like this way, but this way as well, most kids do there are if um they're experienced with fractions but for beginners and if you have zero knowledge about how to multiply with fractions I, I suggest you start it like this so it won't be confusing for you and then gradually you'll learn how it won't be confusing and then you can go to this okay second problem seven nines times four now, 4 times 7 equals 28, and then 9 times 1 equals 9. Now, we're going to simplify because we, we shouldn't leave our answer like this. Always simplify, simplify, simplify. And so, your problem will be uh, correct. So, how many times can 9 go into 28? We know 9 times 2 equals 18. And 9 times 3, which equals 27. I think 9 times 3 would be better. So 3, 9 times 3 equals 21. 20, uh, set, uh, 9 times 3 equals 27, sorry. 9 times 3 equals 27 with a remainder of 1 ninth. This is called a, Im, not an improper, a mixed fraction. A mixed fraction. And... You forgot to simplify this. So 6 eighths simplified, or we can divide by 2. So 2 divided by 6, 6 divided by 2 equals 3, and the 2 divided by, I mean 8 divided by 2 equals 4, 3 fourths, and we cannot simplify. So our answer is 3 fourths simplified, and then 3 one ninths. Okay, 3 fifths times 2. So, we're going to first do 2 times 3, which equals 6, and then the denominator the stays the same, but I'm going to do it again for some people that are beginners and getting confused. 2 once, 3 times 2 equals 6, 5 times 1 equals 5. We cannot simplify this as much as we can, because 5 cannot be um, divided by 2 or, or 3, and like 6 can. So, um... I advise you guys, whenever your teacher writes, to when you guys are solving um, multiplication of fractions, to write it like this, because it doesn't get confusing. Fractions is confusing from the start, but not for some kids, but some for some kids, they get confusing from the start of the when you start, 
So when you're multi multiplying fractions, please, please, please try this way. It's a lot clearer. All you have to do is just simple multiplication. See, 3 times 2 equals 6, and then 5 times 1 equals 5. So please, please, please go as I advise. And please, please, please go with the problems. Please get a pen and a paper and go along with me so you guys can also understand. Now I want you guys to try these by yourself. Please, please, please try them. If you want, you can either comment down below or you can keep your answers with you because I'm also going to do these problems. So pause the video, try these out, comment down below what you got your answer, or you can wait till I answer them and you can know what your answer is. So I assume you'll pause the video and give it a try. So we're going to do it two ways. One way we're just going to do like normal how we did, and the other way we're, we're going to do um, the unconfusing way for some kids. So 2 times 2 equals 4, and then we just, the denominator is the same. Four thirds, but this this number is bigger than this one, so this we have to simplify. This would become one one third. That's our answer, but I'm gonna do it for less confusing. So two thirds times two ones. Two times two equals four, and three times one equals three, and then uh, we get our mixed fraction, one and one third. That is our answer for this. this. Sorry. That is our answer for this problem. Now, time for this one. So 6 times 1 equals 6. The denominator is the same, so 3. We have to simplify. So 3 can go into 2. That is our answer is 2 because this we can divide 6 divided by 3 if it's our you don't have to make it into a mixed fraction like how we did here since 6 divided you can do 6 divided by 3 which equals 2 because fractions are basically division now let's do the unconfusing ways 1 third times 6 once I'm sorry I'm calling it unconfusing I'm sorry I don't have a name for it 6 times 1 equals 6 or 1 times 6 equals 6 and then 3 times 1 equals 3, and our answer is 2. So that is our problem. Answer for this, it equals 2. Now this one. I hope you guys are following along with me, or you already put the answer in the comments. So then 7 times 3 goes 21, and then the denominator is the same, but then you have to simplify, so this would be a 2, because 9 times 3 goes 18. 18 19, 20, 21. So with the remainder of 3 nights. But you can simplify 3 nights into 3. So this would be our final answer would be 2, 1, 3rd. Because 3 times 3 equals 9. And so you can simplify even further. So then, unconfusing 3 nights times 7, 1. 7 times 3 equals 21. 9 times 1 equals 9, simplify, and then you get 2, 1, third simplified. Now, 2 fifths times 4, so then we have, let's do the unconfusing way first, so 2 fifths times 4 once. 2 times 4 equals 8, and 5 times 4 equals 5, simplify, this would be 1, 3 fifths. Now you want to make sure you don't write it like one fourths. You you always want to make sure you write it as four ones because then this would be a whole other fraction. It would be a different. So then let's go to our answer is one three fifths. One three fifths. So that's our answer. That is our. Um, answers for these problems, please like and share this video and subscribe to SS Multimedia. My name is Abiram Paul. Please tell us if we can make our videos better. And please tell us if you can do anything different. And if you have technical issues, please comment down below. If you want to do anything like this and you have technical issues, please comment down below how we can, um, we can help you. And hope you have a great summer. 
and please stay safe in this quarantine. My name is Abhiram Paul. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.